Uh, welcome to Home Tiny Lab. Uh, in this video, we are going to upgrade uh, XCPNG host uh, version 8.1 to 8.2. When you do a point X upgrade, you can do it uh, with a uh, jump. So let's start. <laughs> Uh, if you want to upgrade your XCPNG hosts, if you have multiple ones, you always have to begin with the with the master one. So if you go to hosts and you have different hosts, you begin always with the master host to upgrade. Here you see that we have uh, XCPNG. Um, 1.1 uh, 8.1 you can also see it uh, in the startup screen if you have a monitor connected to your host you can see uh, xpng 8.1.0 okay uh, to do the upgrade I log in with an SSH uh, session in the host, into the host. I'm using uh, Air Guacamole to do this. Okay. So the first thing you have to do is to run um, update. So there are no packages to update for the moment. So now we are going to set a, uh, a variable with the export command variable uh, via VER equal to 8.2 not 3.2 Okay, then we have to download uh, uh, three files. We are using wget. Uh, it's updates. XCP and G dot org slash eight slash xcpng and the variable dollar fair uh, dot repo and we are going to output this to file xcpng dollar uh, version dot repo we are going to verify we get https uh, updates xcpng org 8 xcpng dot var, var dot repo and output to the file xcpng and the uh, dollar values it will so it will be xcpng uh, 8.2.repo so the file is downloaded we have to repeat this for the checksum files so it's in the ma in the same directory so i will reuse until here sha Two five six sums and output file as H A two five six sums. And then we have to do this again for the dots. 
ASC file. This is done. Let's see if we have the three files. Let's do it line up. Do a clear before we show this. Okay, we have the three files. Um, now we have to copy the file to the uh, yum repository. So copy only one file xpng a.2. Uh, we are going to copy this to etc. Um, yum repos today and then we are going to so he asks if you want to override xcp ng dot repo that's what we want to do so yes okay that's done now I have to clean the metadata of the repository clean metadata okay metadata okay and now we have to update Update, yum, update. Those are the packages that are needed to go to 8.2. So, yes. So, this is something that in, in preference you don't do this in an uh, operational environment the best way to do it is using the um, usb key so that the backup so there will be a backup made before the update is done um, but in a home environment if you have a backup you can do it this way uh, if you have multi multiple hosts it's better to move your VMs to the other host before backing up the master. When the master is back up, moving the host again to the master and then do the update of the other uh, XCPNG hosts the same way, if possible, without VMs uh, that are running. If you have an high availability, high availability cluster, you can go ahead. Normally the VMs are moved automatically or started up automatically on a system that's up. Well, before I did this update, I had a problem with uh, my memory on the XCPNG host. So I had to solve this. I've I had some problems when creating when I was creating VMs and I've been searching and searching to know where the problem was. I've reinstalled, reinstalled uh, again and again and then I did a mem test and there was one um, one of the two memory sticks that was completely uh, giving errors so I have found some other uh, memory from another machine that was not used I've tested that before <laughs> continuing and from that moment on no problem whatever uh, with installing VMs because one of the two sticks was good when I was not using for one reason or another the memory of the other stick all went well I could install Debian but when I want to install Ubuntu it didn't it didn't install I didn't finish the installation completely 
So doing the cleanup. Okay, creating the symbolic links. After this, we're doing a reboot. There's a way to, for not doing a reboot, but I prefer doing a reboot. That's why you have to move your VMs uh, to another host. Mm, okay. Um, let's clear. Mm, let's do reboots. Okay, and the system is going down now. And starting up again, posting. Okay, that went well. I'm waiting for the the management screen. The the console uh, infect of XCPNG. On the first screen, we have to see that that we are updated uh, towards eight dot two. Okay, so we can see at the in the right part of the screen. Uh, start line xpng 8.2.0 okay let's go over to my uh, main screen uh, see if we can reconnect okay we can reconnect uh, going to uh, xen orchestra refreshing the screen Okay, let's do it another way. Hosts. Ah, not coming up. Mm -hmm. Let's reconnect completely to be sure that we. Okay. Let's do it otherwise. Sign out and re login. Not always easy. Um, p -p 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 posts. Okay. Here we see now the version X.2. Let's start up a VM to check if everything went well. Um, VM uh, no filter. Let's start up uh, Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu Mate also. Uh, Ubuntu Mate, excuse me. Uh, let's start it up. Console. Can move this and make the screen a little bit bigger okay so it started up so this was the a video about the upgrade from uh, 8.1 xcpng to 8.2 uh, my next video i hope will be uh, about how to change a disk in uh, trunas but i have I am having some difficulties with it, but that's for the video, uh, for the upgrade of a pool in Trunas. Okay, if you like uh, content like this, um, please subscribe and you can always give a like. Or there's also the other button that you can use, it works also. Or you can leave a comment. Thank you for watching.